check. What is going on, beautiful people? Jack934934 to stream, man. Good to see you. Hello. Muhammad, welcome back, man. Good to see you. Drimlock, welcome to the stream. Juno Capri, welcome to the stream. El Bat Pino, welcome back to the stream, man. Good to see you with the wine and the cheese. Bonjour, survive, my friend. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Bienvenido. What's going on, guys? Fixing things for you. What up? Welcome back. Juno Capri, welcome to the stream. Gaming Sniper. What up, man? Welcome aboard. Good to see you, my friend. Captain Reynolds, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome back. Good to see you, bro. Jackson K, man, is in the building. What's up, man? What's happening, man? DJ Malfoofy, welcome back. Good to see you, bro. Royal Pilot, welcome to the stream. Lightning Strikes, I hear him. What up, man? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, that woman just walked right through the plane. That's hilarious. We are almost ready to go here, guys. Alan A. What up, man? Welcome back. Oh, she just did it again. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream, Alan. Good to see you, man. How you been, man? Ray Perez. Hello. Good to see you, man. Welcome back. Jack Sorrows is here. What up, man? Good to see you. Javon. Welcome back, bro. What up, man? Good to see you. Today's flight will be in uh, Costa Rica today, as you guys see by the title. Uh, we're here at Lima something. Hold on. What does it say? Sorry, Mike. Romeo Lima Mike. M-R-L-M. If you want to join us, we're on all players server. USA, USA East. We'll be taking off here just a little bit. What up? Twitch squad. Games only. Walk to the stream, man. Mr. Juanito. Hola. Walk to the stream, man. Tino Star. What up, man? Get to the stream. Uh, you technically don't need a flight plan, um, but uh, you can just uh, use what I have here. There it is. I'm putting it in the chat again. All right, let me go ahead and bring up the camera. I'm ready to get started. Also, today's a very special day. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, new patch literally just came out. Fresh. Fresh off the download uh, so uh, it kind of makes me a little bit concerned a little bit worried because you know you know how patch days are uh, these are the days that we learn and find all the patches so um, be beware be prepared and be expecting us to find some brand new bugs in today's stream because uh, it happens every single time Alan A of course you can join my friend come on bro what you waiting for but yeah so um, I was supposed to stream about a, about a half hour ago and right as I was loading in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, I was like, you know what would be really funny? It would be really funny if, uh, at all, of, of all times, it would be really funny if the patch update were to happen right now. And guess what happened? It was like, hey, you need to restart because there's a mandatory update. I was like, <laughs> I was right. That's hilarious. So, um, so yeah, we spent some time updating, kind of hung out and talked to some of you guys in the, in the, in the viewers waiting chat on YouTube here. And uh, now, here we are. Uh, I think this is version 1. Point... And before we leave, we'll actually talk about that just for a second. Our uh, uh, patch 1.9.5.0. Uh, and so it's a, it's a very short list of uh, changelog, actually, surprisingly. And you can't even find this on the actual Microsoft website yet. They haven't posted it. So planes update. The VFR map should no longer crash the title during a flight. I'm going to be extremely brave, and I'm going to take the word for it. We're going to open up the VFR map. And uh, and see <laughs> if, uh, if if we crash later on. So this is our flight plan today. Uh, if you haven't already put it into your GPS or in the world map, it's M R L M to M R A M M R G F and then M R S N. Just four airports today. These are most likely four airports you have never been to. Trust me. Even if you've flown to Costa Rica before, you probably have still never flown to these airports. None of these airports are major international airports. All pretty small. Um, and this is why I would ex I would you know say nothing bigger than a turboprop. Um, MRAM is gonna be probably the hardest airport to land at if you're like in a TBM. 
Um, it's the shortest runway, it's a grass runway. MRGF is a bit of a long runway, but a very tight, it's only one way in, one way out. MRSN is a grass strip as well. It's gonna be a lot of fun, very beautiful flight. Uh, we have to be able to traverse over these mountains. But that's today's flight. So VFR map confirmed, updated. Uh, also avionic screens or buttons in the cockpit should no longer be turned off randomly. You, remember, you guys remember that when we did our flight in Japan, how our screen just cut off out of nowhere? That should help, AKA the ghost cockpit bug. Um, and then uh, crashes related to use of the smart cam have been fixed. I haven't had a crash for that, but I have had smart cam problems. So hopefully that fixes that in today's update. Airports nav blue navigation data has been updated. So we'll see about that. Uh, UI. The version history is now properly displayed in the marketplace. Multiple simultaneous downloads in the content manager are better handled and prevent crashing. Uh, the packages downloaded through the content manager should now be correctly loaded. Airport icons in the world map have been slightly modified. Aerodynamics, this is actually a pretty big one. Autopilot pitch oscillation has been reduced. You guys remember how when you're flying in basically any plane ever in Microsoft Flight Simulator, how the, the pitch of the plane just kind of goes up and down over and over throughout the whole entire flight. Well, they say they're trying to fix that, so it says that it has been reduced. So it doesn't say it's fixed completely, but it's been reduced. Uh, activity multiplayer has been de deactivated from the Japan um, VFR tour thing. Uh, what else? Uh, marketplace updates have been updated, uh, world autogen buildings have been reviewed, or height of autogen buildings have been reviewed. You guys remember that massive tower in Japan? Yeah, I think they maybe, maybe have fixed that. Um, and then some luminous stuff, so that's it. That's literally it. Um, a very short list of change log stuff for today's patch. So uh, we'll see. We'll definitely be finding some, uh, some problems if we do. Thank you Juno for watching the latest Train Sim World video, do appreciate that. Expect to see another one later on this week. Um, but anyways, let's get going guys. So again, we're in the Cessna 208 Caravan. As, as I said, um, feel free to fly anything turboprop or smaller. Uh, I will tell you this, you're gonna need something with some power because we got some mountains to fly over and it's gonna be kind of hard to fly in an X-Cub, you feel me? So anyways, we're cold and dark in the 208. I am gonna shut the music off and we're gonna get going. Welcome to the stream, guys. Royal Pilot, welcome back, man. Good to see you. Uh, am I streaming on Friday or Thursday? Yes, yes, I'm planning on streaming both of those days. Um, if I can. So, all right, cool, Alan, your updating sounds good. Yeah, it's only a 2.6, I didn't mention that. The update today is only 2.61, I think, or two point, yeah, 2.61 gigabyte uh, update. It took me, on my internet connection, about 20, 25 minutes. I know, that's ridiculous, honestly, for, for that much, but that's how long it took me. But it didn't take long. Very smooth update process, thankfully. Uh, I didn't have any hiccups, any problems. So anyways, let's get the plane started. And we're gonna get going today. It won't be too long of a flight, honestly, uh, but we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, one thing I will say, guys, and I recommend this, because I know a lot of people are gonna be like, all right, let's hop into A320NX or the 787XE and, and do all tests, stuff like that, like, or try the Rex weather and stuff like that. I would say, first, when you first do your updates, do it vanilla, like, just use just the base sim. Don't add in all the extra mods that you've been doing to make it better. Like, test it vanilla first, without any mods and then go back and test out all your mods and see if they're compatible. Cause a lot of times these updates will break your mods and you'll you'll blame a Sobo for breaking something. Well, technically it's just the mod you're using that broke it. That actually happened to me last time. All right, let's get this thing fired up. All right, battery's on, fuel boost pump's gonna go to on. Uh, let's see, uh, ignition to on and starter. Actually, before we do that, let's go prop full forward and condition lever put off there we go and now starter oh you know what you know what I forgot I always always forget this in the caravan on the overhead we actually need to turn the fuel pumps or fuel tanks to on there we go now ignition starter did I forget something again <laughs> I must have forgot something again uh, let's see let's try it again wait oh there we go it's going it's gone. Okay. It's so weird because you start with the avionics, avionics off. We don't have any GPU power or anything like that. So okay. it's kind of hard. You don't get to see in the ITT, any of that stuff rising. No, we're not serving. We're not flying an airliner, but you can still serve snacks. Trust me, when you fly GA, you want snacks aboard. If you've ever flown GA, you definitely want some snacks because, you know, it takes a lot longer to get to 
fewer places. So our we'll go up to four thousand for our first uh, first stop. Um, won't be very far. It's like what does it say? It doesn't even say. 60, 20, 26 miles away. All right, so we got both. In Actually, sorry, no wonder the engines are not starting all the way. There we go. Now we're firing up. Let's get our transponder set up. We're not on VATS or anything like that today. We're just on uh, on Microsoft. So do squat VFR because this is a VFR flight. We do our best to re remain VFR today uh, at all cost. Uh, if we have to switch, we will switch. You can see the weather is kind of uh, iffy out here. Some storms lingering around. So kind of like the challenge of today's flight, it's not just a sightsee. Sightseeing is going to be fun. But kind of the challenge of today is to be to able to uh, basically avoid bad weather as well as uh, avoid crashing into mountains. So uh, you'll see how challenging that's going to be here in a little bit. But right now, that is the goal. All right, we have a good engine start. And let's go ahead and just taxi out of here and get the heck out of here. Right, transponder is on standby. Let's actually set that to alt. There we go. Beautiful. All right, I'm ready. I think. Actually, no, I'm not ready. First, we need to turn off the. I'll say on the generator. Generator is already on. Turn off the fuel boost pump. And turn off the starter. Avionics are already on. We'll turn on the lead air and get some fans going in here. And for takeoff, we're gonna take off uh, out of this airport. We'll do flaps. Uh, 20 degrees is actually the first notch. Um, we don't even need it, honestly. We can take off out of here with no flaps. We're gonna try to get in here pretty quick. All right, I'm ready. Cool. Let's go to reset that. I am using Trek IR today uh, on my headset. Uh, if you guys don't have Trek IR, can't get access to it or can't afford it, uh, I do recommend another alternative called Smooth Track. It is a mobile application, pretty cheap mobile applications you can get on your iPhone or Android and um, it's pretty nice I have not actually posted a video about it yet sadly but I'm working on it all right we'll take off uh, that direction sounds perfect so I'm just gonna get around you guys but yeah it's called smooth track in the app store check it out see what you think try it out I am NOT using Rex so originally I was planning on using Rex um, like my original title and everything said Rex. I don't know if you guys haven't updated the title, uh, then you're gonna still see the old title that actually does promote Rex as my weather engine for today. But I actually switched back to default because like I said earlier, is like now that we have a new update, even though the update doesn't actually mention any weather adjustments at all, I still want to try out the flight, um, you know, without any of the mods before I, you know, do that. So. This is default Microsoft Flight Simulator weather. So I'm just going to use the left side of runway because we have uh, lots of traffic behind us. I'm going to go pull up a little bit and we'll roll out together. Uh, we'll try to stay together. Uh, I'm not going to be going too fast. Again, I'm going to go up to a max of 4,000 feet on this very first leg. Our first stop is Mike Romeo Alpha Mike. It's a small little grass strip. It's actually pretty hard to see and find. Oh, look at that. Nice liveries, guys. Also, guys, if you don't know, the liveries make it pack actually did get updated um, what, a week ago. I haven't updated mine yet. I just downloaded it today, and it took freaking forever to download because it's like 12. It's like 12. Is it 20 something gigabytes? It's like 600 liveries. That's crazy. It's crazy. Yes, when I turn my head, it turns in the game. I look left. It moves. Look left. Sorry, left. <laughs> look right. Are right, you guys ready to go? We got a TBM. He can catch up. All right, guys, I'm rolling. Land lights, strobe lights are all on. I'm gonna take off and I'm gonna go straight and then make a right turn. I'm holding my uh, left side, airspeed's alive. I'm on the uh, 60 knots. Nice trees there on the, on the right side. Using the rudder pedals to try to stay centered on the left side. There's 85 knots. You can already see the planes lifting up by itself. Literally, it didn't have to do anything. That's because of those 20 degrees of flaps. So I guess the flaps did help, so I didn't even have to move the... the yo, look at that off our right wing. Beautiful already, man. Welcome to Costa Rica, guys. Welcome to freaking Costa Rica. You got some sights to see today. All right, guys. I'm going to make a right turn now. Rolling to the right. I'm right, going to pull back on the... Uh, 
the yoke here a little bit as we let release the um, flap. So again, it goes from 20 degrees to zero. So I, I kind of understand now why that nose drops down so much whenever uh, you retract the flaps on the caravan. So again, we're going to be VFR. We're going to do our best to stay VFR the entire flight. You can see there's a lot of clouds out there. Our point, the whole point of flying VFR is to not fly in the clouds. You don't want to fly into them if you don't have to. If we need to, we will at some point, but I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to avoid all the rain, the storms that are kind of lingering in the area down here. The weather has been really horrible out here lately. I was actually going to do a flight out here before in the past, and it was just as bad. It was actually worse. No, updates didn't say anything at all about water. Uh, I didn't see anything about water, weather, any of that in the patch notes, so. But very nice. All right, let's go outside. Very green. <laughs> Costa Rica so far has been very, very green. So the mountains out there to our, uh, I think it's to our west, which is actually to our right, those are going to get up to as high as 13,000 feet at certain points. We're going to try to find a gap to not have to climb that high uh, because it's going to be pretty tough for us to climb that m amount of altitude and stay beneath the clouds. So we'll see. Again, it's going to kind of make that as a little bit of a twist of today's stream. No problem, my foofy man. No problem, man. Do what you got to do, bro. I'll see you next time. I agree, Alan. The weather does look amazing. Like, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by the weather today. Um, it looks pretty good. I used, I actually, I did a test. I call it a, uh, a scout flight earlier, just to make sure that the scenery was working and stuff like that. Look at that. Got the police escorting us. That's legit. <laughs> got us a police escort. Uh, current heading 173 my current heading right now and we are uh 20 miles away from our first stop it could have on 3000 i'm actually gonna level off right here at 3000 we don't need to, we don't need to go that high start trimming it down trimming it down trimming it down it's still not on autopilot i'm trying to keep it off autopilot just a little bit we'll turn the yard damper on though and flight director and nav get those armed so whenever we are ready to go on to uh, autopilot we'll have that prepared but yeah i did a scout flight earlier uh, just to make sure that the scenery was working and that uh, everything looked okay and um i used rex this was before the update so i was using rex and it looked pretty darn similar to this adam rex hello speaking of rexes welcome to the stream man welcome to the stream uh performance they didn't mention anything in uh, the change the uh, performance sorry in the change log about performance but uh, i'm not seeing any issues at the moment but this is just not really a this is not really a performance intensive flight either so even you know a few updates ago this would have been just perfectly fine you don't think y'all ever works well i don't know it's just by habit <laughs> Thank you, Daniel Fibles. I know we have a few Costa Rican uh, locals uh, in, uh, in our group out here. I'm not sure if you're flying with us, but I know a few people in the chat are from Costa Rica. So please feed us the information. Let us know. I would love to learn more about Costa Rica. We're only going to see a small part of Costa Rica today. Um, but I always love getting uh, the locals' feedback and, and little tips and tricks about the areas that we fly in. Just like when we flew in Japan, we had a few uh, Japanese lo locals hanging out with us in the chat so it's pretty cool very easy quick way to learn about the areas you're flying in there's no freaking way mr music for us is his fps or 30 fps higher there's no freaking way bro i don't believe you at all <laughs> 30 fps higher what the heck were you getting before 20 like 10 uh that would be a good flight uh, aviation 360 west texas flight would be a great flight that's actually the part of texas i think is the most scenic is West Texas all the way down to Southwest Texas. Skyhawk Simpilot, what up, man? That's my uh, Costa Rican friend, one of them. Wait, is Costa Rica where they shot Jurassic Park? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what you were referring to, but I would not be surprised. So see this cloud here? 
Again, to, you know, to remain VFR, we want to go around it, obviously. You know what I mean? It wasn't directly in our path. So we want to kind of go around. This is one thing I love about Microsoft Flight Simulator is the fact that every cloud has its own position. Look at that lightning strike out there. It has its own position in the world. So I can just fly right around it, you know, and just remain VFR. This is the beauty of flying VFR in general and the fact that it's in the sim. You can actually simulate that. I just think it's really cool. It's one of the, my biggest pet peeves, honestly, was you know, flying an X-plane with some of the different weather engines is like, it was still, wasn't 3D. It was, it was 2D clouds. And so like the clouds just, they weren't, you know, you couldn't really fly to them and around them. They just kind of like avoided you, you know what I mean? So it was, it was weird. All right, we're uh, 12 miles out. It should be around some rivers. So let's watch out for some rivers. It was Hawaii. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, I didn't know that. So, Jurassic Park was shot in Hawaii. Pretty cool. But some of it was shot in Costa Rica, apparently. Juno eating KFC right now, bro. Pass the chicken. Pass the chicken. Pass the gravy. I love KFC. It's not my favorite chicken place, but I do like KFC. Look at that lightning, man. I gotta watch out for these storms. I kind of hope they toned it down. I feel like the lightning kind of got out of hand last update. You know what I mean? Like, it came from, like, never barely seeing lightning to, like, lightning storms everywhere. <laughs> okay, so now Skyhawk, the local, is saying that it was not filmed in Costa Rica. All right, I'm getting mixed signals. I can wiki point of interest. Let's see. Let me turn that off so I can look around. I have a, I don't have a wiki, but I have a, I have Google Maps open right now, kind of following along what we're doing. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> I searched POI on Google Maps and it went to my hometown. It went to where I'm at now. And it was like, you want a place called POI? Okay. It's all good. I don't really know if there's much. I think there's a lot of like uh, natural forests and stuff out here. Like, um, let me see. Let me go look. And I'll try. I'll try my best to be your uh, your tour guide. So we took off out of Limon. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, for, like out here in Costa Rica, but it sounds like lemon. It looks like lemon. That's how you spell it. Uh, so we're over the reserve. Uh, some type of biological reserve is out here. Where we're at right now. Thank you, Skyhawk, for confirming, though. Ease on the caps, but thanks for confirming that Jurassic Park was not in Costa Rica. Thank you, because I would have show shared that. Like, you guys knew that Jurassic Park was in Costa Rica? <laughs> I don't know. You got Somebody needs to Google it or something and find out for sure, because you guys are debating on whether or not Jurassic Park was shot in Costa Rica. I think it'd be dope. I don't see why not. I think Costa Rica would be a perfect place to shoot Jurassic Park. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Like, all we need is some little dinosaurs roaming out here. You know what would be a really fun mod? You know, since they're making Godzilla mods and stuff like that, and we got animals in the game, why not bring in some dinosaurs? Like, bring a T-Rex and put that somewhere out in the middle of freaking nowhere. That'd be hilarious. All right, guys, we need to go ahead and descend now. So, on me. I know you guys are a few seconds behind me on the stream, but just kind of follow me as we fly. Um, there's a bunch of rivers kind of coming right here. I'm not sure what these rivers are. Let me see if I can find them on the map. Somewhere. I don't know what these rivers are called. It doesn't say. Yeah, I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna fly with these rivers and our airport's gonna be right down there somewhere. It's kinda hard to see. It's gonna be really hard to see. We're gonna have to fly over it and then back on it. It's a grass strip, so it's gonna be pretty tough to find. Yeah, I know right, you know, hopefully the game doesn't crash. Hopefully we don't find some more crashes. That was so annoying when one uh, patch came out for the Japan World Update, and we got so many crashes. There it is. I think that's it right there. 
Yep, that's it right there. You see this right here? That little bitty strip? That's where we're landing. Alright, alright guys. Power's coming down. I can barely, I can't really see it. But we're gonna, uh, I think this is the best way in. Looks like probably from the left, most likely. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably circle it. There it is right here. Here's our landing strip right here. Oh, that thunder. Holy crap. So we'll kind of circle it here. And uh, we're coming from the other direction. I don't... Like, we could come in from that way, too. Uh, I guess, yeah. We'll come in from this way. Because I think our speed is slow enough. Alright, we're just slow enough for flaps now. Just barely. Basically, like, on a right down one right now for the strip. I, can't, I don't want to lose it because it's so hard to see already. It's so green out here. In the film, they called it Costa Rica. Okay, I got you. In the film, they said it was Costa Rica. But in real life, it was actually Hawaii. Yeah, they do that a lot in the movie industry. They'll, they'll call an area something, um, but they really just stage it to look like that area, and then it'll actually be shot somewhere else. Fixing things for you, I'll do my best, my friend. Caravan's pretty easy to land, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Oh my god, that lightning strike was freaking epic. Oh, that was amazing. You guys see that? Holy crap. All right, guys, we're turning in. There it is. Uh, how long have I, have I been streaming for? Uh, I don't know, what, 40? I don't know, how long? 30 minutes now? Something like that? Like, for, for forever or just today? All right, lane lights are all on. And uh, I'm going to kind of... we got to lose some speed here. We are full flaps already. 500. It's going to be actually pretty challenging. we got trees to get over. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I can't do bottom view this time. I actually got to concentrate on this landing because there's a lot of trees. It's kind of hard to see because everything is, is green. <laughs> Might have to come in at an angle to get ready to go through some of these, these gaps in the trees. Yep. There we go. We'll just kind of dive it in here. There we go. And slide it in there. Pull up, pull up, pull up. All right, floating. We're floating. We're floating. We're floating. Get ready for the reversers. There, we're touched down. Reverse thrust. And manual braking. And it's like we made it. Oh boy. That's like we all made it too. Nicely done, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good job. Is that a Mooney on the ground? Is that a freaking Mooney I see over there? Negative 200, not bad. Oh, was it negative 47? Yeah, negative 47, not freaking bad. Yeah, that's a freaking Mooney. Who's over here? That must be Captain Bombosa and his Mooney. I love that plane. That's such a cool plane. All right, first stop, guys. Yeah, I told you you might want to fly something small. <laughs> Look, the TVM made it too. Good job, man. I don't think I could have done this in a TVM. I honestly don't think I could have personally done this in a TVM. Uh, what is my reverse in the sim? So on my throttle, you guys probably can't see it. Let me see if you guys can see it. Yeah, you can't see my throttle. On my throttle, though, I have a little red button on my whole tab. Matter of fact, let me pick it up really quick. Before we leave, let me just show you what my, thro what my reverse is. Since you asked, let me turn it off. All right, so here, this is my throttle quadrant that I use. Can I, can I reach it? It's heavy. <laughs> it's freaking heavy. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, here we go. So, uh, this right here is what I use for my throttle. Right? Oh, brakes are not on. And this is what I use for my prop. This is how I have it set up. And I have another little button over here for my uh, or, or range here for uh, my mixture I use. So, anyways, for my thrust reverse, I actually use this red button right here. So when I click it, it switches to re to reverse. And when I click it again, it turns it off. So this is a toggle. It's the same way I did it uh, with my old T16000. Um, oh my god, it's so heavy. That thing has got to be like 20 pounds. <laughs> like, no kidding. It's no wonder it's so freaking expensive. It's like 20 pounds. Oh, okay. Anyways, all right, so I wanted to show you guys that real quick. But in my T16000 uh, M throttle quadrant that I used to have, I still have it in, in the thingy. But, um... I also had a button that I used that I just clicked to switch from reverse. I've always done it that way. 
All right, guys, you guys ready to uh, head to our next stop? So here's, a, again, the challenge here. Leaving this airport is, for one, is getting out of here. We'll be fine taking off. I set the flat for 20. Um, but the challenge here is going to be getting above this mountain. The mountain is, like, right next to us, and it's, like, above 10,000 feet. So make sure you got your oxygen on. Um, and uh, and getting through there. Wow, that lightning is crazy. Getting through there without anything. So we'll, just, we'll, we'll do our best. Just follow me. I'll find us a way. Yeah, Lord of Fields is cold, man. Nice side. You should have. You definitely should have recorded us landing for sure. Come through, Lord Felix. Come through. All right, guys, we're rolling. Airspeed's alive. Flaps again set to twenty. Everything's looking good, and we probably should have done even more flaps because, uh, oh boy. All right, here we go. I'm pulling up a little early. Oh boy. Wow, not a lot of runway there and some very high trees. Most likely those trees are probably too high. I've, ha I've seen a lot of complaints in Microsoft Flight Simulator about trees being too high uh, in their different areas. So those trees are probably too high, but they might be right. Who knows? So uh, we'll see. We might have to fly through that storm. I mean, we are completely IFR capable in this plane. So if we have to do what we got to do, what do we got to do? So what we're going to do first is make a right turn. Uh, we need to gain some altitude. As I said, those mountains to our left are, wow, look at that lightning, 13,000. Some of them are 12,000, some of them are 11, some 10. So right now we're at uh, 1,000. Yeah, 1,000, 1,100 right now. So we have a lot of altitude to gain. So we're kind of in a circle of the airport. So we can gain some altitude to get over those mountains. It's really not that long of a flight. Once we get over the mountains, we'll basically be descending down to our next airport, which is right on the other side of these mountains. And again, the fun part here is going to be avoiding storms while making it through the mountains. So we have to find a hole somewhere. And as you guys know in real life, uh, yes, sir, the salt vision, this is MRAM. M-R-A-M. MRAM, I like to call it. <laughs> All right, doing pretty good on the climb. We're at, uh, actually, we're not doing amazing. We're doing okay in the climb. Dragonfell, thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome to Blue Arrow family. Thanks for the support. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. No problem, Lord Felix. We have two more stops planned, so if you want to join us, like if your update's still up, then you can meet us at the next airport. Quiver3, what up, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome to Blue Arrow family. Uh, Juno is also serving KFC at, uh, at all of our stops today. <laughs> so if you guys like some fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and gravy, Juno's got gotcha. you. Alright, so we're going to start uh, heading towards the mountains to kind of get a, a range of how we're doing on our altitude. So you can see here on our G1000, uh, you can see the synthetic vision there. That's the peak of that mountain. Again, I believe that mountain right there is around 12 to 13,000 feet. We can probably sneak through this river and go this way and possibly get over that area. There's also a lower area of valley to the right. We could also try sneaking that way, which might be better for us because it's farther away. But look at all those clouds. Look at that storm. So honestly, that'll be our best bet right now is to go that way. I'm doing good, man. Thanks for asking, Dragonfall. And uh, Quiver3 uh, from South Africa. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you, man. Welcome back, bro. Hey, way. All right. You guys still with me back there? Yeah, we're good. You guys are struggling to climb, too. <laughs> we all struggling to climb. I'll pull that uh, the mixture back a little bit. Maybe that'll give us some more power. Uh, do I know any private CFIs at Hooks? You'll probably do your ground school online. Yes, I actually do know one. I can uh, I can uh, hook you up with the guy that I am talking to about being my CFI. And uh, if you're interested, I know I believe he still has his flight school there. And if he can't do it, he has a couple other CFIs that actually work for him. He's actually a uh, uh, last time I talked to him, he was a uh, what was it? What's the plane called? A uh, what the heck is it called? A legacy 650 pilot so he does that but he also teaches as well part-time so but he has other cfis that he's hired whenever he's not around so i can hook you up hook you up with him he uh, he teaches out of uh, hooks airport on the uh, tomball jet center side so that's where i'm planning on doing my training uh whenever i get the money to do it look at these clouds so let's see uh, we could go through here we could go over and through there 
We can go all the way over there. There's a little hole. Oh, nope, not going through that hole. <laughs> With that lighting. Heck no. Check disc. What are you talking about? Uh, Jackson, do I want a police intercept? We already have a police escort. And a civil av aviation. So we're pretty protected right now. But, you know, you can never have enough protection. You can never have enough protection. Looking good, guys. You guys are looking good back there. That would be great. That would be amazing, uh, 360. You get your parents to pay for it. You're young enough that you can actually still do that. We need fighter jets. I mean, I wouldn't say need, but you know, I know people want them. So I think that fighter jets would do well in the sim. Is it a necessity? I mean, I wouldn't say that much, but yeah, I think it'd be good. I think it's it's a there's a need for a good jet though, not just some you know some lame thing. Look at all this lighting, man. That is a nasty storm. How far was that storm go? We don't have a weather radar in this plane. So it's kind of like we don't really know how far that goes. You can kind of see we're already deviating from our flight plan just to get around this massive, nasty storm. Uh, Bombosa, no. Not running Rex right now. Oh, Discord. That's what you're talking about. Oh, I forgot I am on Discord. I'm not talking, though. I'm just on there. I rarely, um, I rarely actually check this Discord during flights unless, uh, you know what, you know what, screw it, today we'll do it, for the fun of it, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be, um, I'm not gonna have you guys on the stream, at least not for now, but I will be able to hear you if you go on Discord, so let me hop on there, and actually I can already hear, matter of fact, if you were talking, I would have been to hurt hear you, yep, I hear you, <laughs> there you go. Me, um, me, myself. What up, man? What's happening, bro? What's going on? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You should be doing school, but yeah, you know, I understand. All right, let me see if I can get through this cloud. So again, we're trying to my best to remain VFR. Look at these, man. In real life, you would never fly into this. You would never freaking fly into this. I would have turned around and just camped at MRAM or flew back to the other airport we were at because this is a this is a, a a red flag, a huge red flag in the real aviation world. It is. I actually love the rumble. I actually really like the rumble. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. All right. Say hello to the stream, Alex. What's up, guys? <laughs> Alex AV hanging out with us here in the lounge. Look at this. The mountains look great. And then the clouds kind of surrounding them look... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That light and strike. Should we do it? I feel like we should, we should do it. We, I feel like we have to do it because it's a simulator. <laughs> like that gap. You see this gap Experience. right over here? We have to do it. I'm shooting a gap. Wait, can you check the messages I sent you? Uh, yeah. Who sent me? Who's that? Oh, there's a bunch of y'all in here now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it came from like one guy to like 10 people. Like, holy crap. Oh, dear. I see Alan is still downloading because his internet is slow. I understand. I'm in the same boat. It took me a while. It took me like 25 minutes. We still got a while to go, so if you can get it done by the time we get to our last stop, we should be all good. It shouldn't be too long, but we should be all good. This is kind of cool. I like this little cloud. I want to see if this is going to shut. Like, like, in real life, when you see a gap between clouds, and then it actually ends up closing after a certain amount of time, I wonder if that's going to happen here to us. I kind of hope it does, but I kind of hope it doesn't. Yo. Yo. Um... Just saying all the clouds are different for people's different flights, so I'm in the middle of like a lightning storm right oh, now. Oh no, I thought about that too. I was like, you know what? I was like, it looks dope for me and like I'm not in it clouds, but like for other people it's probably not in sync the same. I'm, I'm coming out now though, so it's not that okay, big Okay, cool. If you can see my lights, just follow me. <laughs> I don't want anybody. I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the police 208. Okay, dope. Yeah, our altitude is good, so like 
Oh yeah. yeah. We we I, where I'm at right now, we're good at ten thousand at this side of the mountains, so we straight. But if yeah, just don't be like below eight thousand right now. Yeah, I'm at I'm at ten six. Captain Infinite, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Scott works, welcome back, man. I know lightning. Let's see what happens. There's, I don't I don't think I'm pretty like I'm like hundred percent sure it doesn't simulate lightning strikes hitting a plane. Hey Blue, are you still over Limo? Am I what? Are you still over Limo? Say that one more time. Are you still over Limo? No, no, we uh we left Limon and we are now somewhere else. Uh we are like right at the border of Costa Rica and Panama flying over the mountains. Um I don't know what cities were near. Blue, does everyone else just like hear you talking and not hear us? No, they hear you now. I turned you guys on. Uh oh. So be good. good. <laughs> be on your best behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, hey, it's, it's it's more fun from like in the past streams I've done. It's more fun when if I'm doing a bush flight and I actually do have you guys on voice, so we can communicate, especially for doing um, oh! formation or anything like that. Like it's just more fun to do it that way. So I just yeah, I wish I, on. Blue, I, I wish I could have talked to you for the last formation because that was that was a mess. Uh, no, I know not not bit not Mr. Beast. What's up, man? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blu-ray family. Look at this. This is dope. We're flying right through this gap. Well, I am. I don't, know, I don't know what you guys are doing, but I'm in the gap. <laughs> oh, by the way, Blue, did you see that Panama's main airport isn't there in this simulator? Is it really? It's not there. Wait, what is Panama's yeah. main airport? Uh, MPTO. It's that's, definitely not there. That's crazy. That's not good. Like, it doesn't yeah, exist in the game at all. At all. Like, you could, you could fly over it, and it's just, like, super bumpy, and there's nothing there. Wow. Alright, well, so far, guys, we have survived through this storm with alligator struck by lightning. At least it's not that I know of. Blue, I am freaking out right now. I'm in the middle of just, like, the thickest storm. Oh, my God. It looks bad. If I, if I was to the right about 10 miles, I would be in the middle of it, too. So if you guys are getting different weather than I am, or at least different visual weather than I am, then I can't imagine how crazy it is for y'all. Oh, my God. My car is foggy. Uh, Lord Whoever. Felix, no, the X Cub is not gonna be fast enough to keep up with us in uh, 208, and it it'll be it'll be a lot longer flight. Not only will it be slower, but it'll be harder for you to get over these mountains uh, from our route. It's there's so, so much you, here. I'm gonna turn right. <laughs> if you pull your mixture back, does that increase your power? Because I heard you say that earlier. Uh, yes. It depends on altitude, though. This is probably a bad decision I just made just now. Pretty sure this was a bad decision. I should have went left. That was a safe route. No, I, I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah. Now, don't pull your mixture back all the way, though. Um, no, I didn't. Yeah, I'm I think on, like, usually 90. in Microsoft Flight Simulator, halfway is about as far as you want to go. Okay, I'm going to 50%. And it works in most regular propellers. It does work a little bit in the turbo props, but it doesn't work as strong because they're stronger. Oh, Lord. Lou, to be honest, I don't think any of you are getting accurate weather. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What is the weather like, supposed it is to be? It's pretty, but it's not that thick. Yeah, this is. Wait, uh... do, you, do you live in Costa Rica? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. But do you live here? It is part of Costa Rica. No, I, I live in the Central Valley where the city is. Okay, so Does we're south of here right now. Does anyone live in this area? Uh, yeah. I'm really Usually hoping there's a gap to my left. Like that. Uh, nope, no gap. Might have to make it. Might have to make a U-turn here. Blue, you gotta, you gotta give me vectors. I have no clue what's going on. Oh no! <laughs> I'm oh, just no. following your story right now. This is, I think, following the river as well. This, this turned from a VFR flight to a, uh, I don't know what you would call this. This is more of like Foggy. Terrifying. cloud oh, surfing, yeah, terrifying. maybe. <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. Like I don't know that this is a. Uh, if I can turn around from where I am now, like right now, I'm kind of flowing into a dead end. So we'll see. Uh, as far as vectors, though, I don't, I don't know where your position is, but I am currently flying 288 on the uh, west side of this mountain now, kind of okay, flying back turning. towards our flight plan. Turning 288, I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue. And descending. 
Your live weather is clear skies? Oh boy. Mr. Music for All says it's live weather clear skies. Yeah, this I is where this is where Rex actually does is beneficial because if you have Rex, then you'll be getting accurate local weather. Now I don't know this is accurate. This might be um, you know an hour late. I know there's storms actually in the Costa Rica Panama area, from what I saw on the actual real world map. Uh, or not the games real world map, but like the real life real it world is, map. It is uh, um, it's stormy over there. Uh, thanks for taking my suggestion on the Costa Rica flight. No problem, man. We, we've been planning this flight like a couple weeks. We were supposed to do this flight two weeks ago. <laughs> I've, been rec rec uh, I've been requesting this flight for like a year now. I know you have. You, you, it's true. You've been requesting me to fly to Costa Rica for a long time. Honestly, in X-Plane, it really just didn't make sense for me to fly to Costa Rica because I didn't have great scenery out there. I had a little bit of ortho. I had a couple free airports. Uh, so it might have been okay for like an IFR flight, but like th this was worth the wait in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. I, I see a gap. It looks like it's raining down there, but we're going to go. Oh, I'm going to go. <laughs> Hopefully you guys still can see me. I don't know. I feel oh, bad for y'all. I'm coming out of it now. Yeah, I feel I'm bad for y'all. Right, I just passed over a flight plan uh, between MRAM and MGTF, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's rain down there for sure. Are we turning onto the flight plan? Uh, I am not yet. I'm getting around some clouds, and I'll be heading back down that direction. If all those fails, hit that nav mode and go straight to the next airport. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of doing that, but uh, we're not far. We're like um, 26 miles away from it. Oh, wait, speed. I think what I'm like. What livery are you using? What do you say? What livery are you using? I'm just using the default 7208 livery. Uh, you should have used Nature Air, even though the airline is dead. Are they dead? Oh, yeah, lightning. they they sucked at um maintenance so oh, wow. they got shut down dang <laughs> but I've been were such pretty planes i've been wanting to fly to nature air livery because i love deliveries i love how they look i just didn't fly them because i thought they so weren't because they're not costa rican right they're not from central america where are they from yeah nature they, is costa rican freaking are you serious i'm so upset i yeah. didn't fly it now <laughs> i'm so upset the only reason nature. i didn't fly it was because i thought it wasn't lo wasn't local to the area we we're flying in <laughs> I really thought it was like, oh, this is, this is like, I don't, I don't know. I didn't know where I thought it was from, but I didn't think it was from here. Yeah, it is. That's cool. But cool. now I know. It has been closed for two years. Oh, good to know. Yeah, I love their liveries. I really like them. Matter of fact, that latest um, livery, Mega Pack livery update came with a ton of new liveries for the caravan. Yeah, it did. And um, before the stream today, I actually was, I was trying to to download it it took me forever to download the liveries and then it took it was gonna say take 15 minutes just to like transfer them to my files and i was like uh i don't have time i gotta stream so i uh, just yeah. went ahead and just did the 208 but i saw some liveries in there that i wanted to try out now uh, heading back south towards on my uh vfr map it says towards the river also towards the uh flight plan again so i'm like north um i'll pull it up on the stream so everybody can see where i'm at yeah, I'm like north, uh, not north, sorry. Yeah. Well, just west. Oh my god, that lightning was right on top of me. Holy crap, there's a 747. Of course there is. Um, Dude, are you, are you BFR? I'm supposed to be. It is, I like, I still can't see a thing and I'm at like 500 feet above. The I am in the rain VFR. Wait, I'm yeah. not getting any windshield effects. But I guess it's just fog. But yeah, I'm still here. I've been this whole time. I haven't actually flown through an actual cloud. Oh my god, this lightning! You're in Punta Arenas right now. I am. Cool. Yeah. Uh, next updates in two days? I don't believe so. Is there another update? I don't think so. I think this was it for now. I, this was the scheduled update today. It was the October? What's today? Thirteen. Update. So this was the schedule. Oh, you're gonna watch the uh, you're gonna watch the Apple event. <laughs> that happens today, doesn't it? Yeah, new phones. Uh, I'll probably watch. Or I'll probably see what it's about after the stream is over. I don't even know what they're talking. They just they already did one. <laughs> so well, like, yeah, what? they did one with that Apple Watch and stuff. But I think this is the iPhone 12. This is like the big event. Oh wow! I didn't. I, I honestly, I thought that they just they were just gonna like not do an iPhone because they didn't mention it. And oh my God, that lightning is crazy. I thought they were going to do one because they didn't mention it in the Apple Watch one. 
Like, I yeah, thought I that was so weird. the event. Like, I thought that was, like, because usually they only have one. They don't usually have, like, multiple. Um, so I was like, yeah. okay, I guess we're not getting another iPhone this year. I guess they were like, All right, you know, we put out two last year. Now we'll just, just do one. <laughs> we'll just not do nothing. Um, but, oh. yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I'll definitely be checking it out then. I'm waiting to see if there's so, anything that uh, happened with Are the you MacBook thinking too. about the 3070? Am I thinking about it? Not really. So you're going to just keep the 1080 Ti? Yeah, for now. Man McMahon, uh, yes, there was an update today just uh, before the stream started. I just updated it. I personally have not seen it on the website yet, so but it is it has been out. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I would. I mean, I would. I would never turn down an upgrade for my computer. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm not really thinking about buying it. Yeah, weather's looking uh, a little bit better. I have to leave the call. So what is that? The, I'll be watching. I need to leave. Oh, no problem. But Take enjoy later. the play. I'll be watching. That was good. Have fun. Appreciate it. And everyone enjoy. See ya. We will try. See ya. See ya. Was he, was he flying with us? I don't think so. Quiver 3, yeah. we're on the USA East. Yeah, USA East server and all players. I'm so far behind you guys. I'm gonna pull the power back. I'm I've been in the red the whole time. I was kind of ignoring it because it's not realistic anyways. I, I am too. Maybe I'll change my mixture. Oh, there's a citation. Yeah, I see one, two, three, I see three people kept up with me. Probably the people whose uh, live weather is not working. <laughs> and it's just clear skies. That's usually Probably. me, sadly. That's usually me. I'm usually, like, I get on, I'm like, all right, I'm using live weather. And then it's just clear. I'm like, this can't be right. <laughs> I was in clothes the whole time, but I have name tags on, so I was just Oh, uh, yeah, that works, too. Name tags definitely work. I should have thought of that when I was in the middle of the storm. <laughs> Them names has will save you if you're in the middle of a storm trying to do a group flight, that's for sure, man. The lightning <laughs> is just just relentless out here, man. Uh, yeah, they I really might, upgrade might... the aerodynamics. In the uh, changelog, it says they upgrade the aerodynamics to fix the uh, I oscillation of the pitch. So, like, where the nose goes up and down all the time. Um, but well, yeah. It's kind of hard to tell in, in this particular flight because we're not really using autopilot. That's from like mostly the uh, the citation longitude had that problem really bad when you're on autopilot at like cruise altitude, it would literally just like, it would look like a dolphin. It wow. was so bad. The 320 used to do it too. I think it still does a little bit, not as much as it used to. The 320 had the oscillation problem. So it's the 787 and the 74. Basically, all the airliners, all the fast jet power planes had the oscillation problem, and I just froze. Uh oh. It's you're an still there. This is an update. So I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna come back. You're still there. Oh, wait, I know, but not. like my screen's oh, frozen. Wrong. Okay, I'm back. Cool. I wasn't sure because it's a couple updates ago. If it froze, that that meant insta crash. Oh, now you're with me. <laughs> nope. Yep. Now you guys are caught up. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, they also fixed the ghost cockpit bugs where the uh, screens would go all go out. So, again, we're, we're just, this is our my very first flight. I haven't tested anything before today's stream. I updated and then I started so um, and then a lot of the bugs that they fixed weren't really related to the caravan either what's your speed blue my current speed is 136 indicated all right I'm going too fast and right. uh, I'm making a slight left turn to meet or intercept the flight plan still flying by hand that have not turned autopilot on yet I took I kind of climbed to get above some of these clouds that were um, down here and we are 10 miles from our next stop, MRGF. All right. Trying to catch up the longitude stuff. Yeah, throttle's on red line aerial. But it, it uh, I don't, again, I, I really disagree with how the citation, that's hard, the caravan works uh, as far as the, all that engine stuff, because it doesn't really do it right. Yeah, don't mind me trailing you guys in Cessna Longitude. <laughs> and yes, the VFR map so far, we haven't had we haven't had any crashes due to the VFR map. Oh my god, I just buzzed those trees completely. Wow, alright, we're descending now. 
airport is right ahead of us. And hopefully we can see it through all these clouds. And we'll see what happens. Again, I'm doing my best to maintain VFR and not go into any of these clouds. It is lightning sideways. Holy crap. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm saying, man, they definitely went overboard these darn lightning strikes. There ain't no way. <laughs> there ain't no way it looked this calm outside, but it's lightning that violently. Maybe a little thunder. Maybe, maybe a little thunder. Alright, I can't see anything. Uh, like, well, I can see a little bit, but I can't see much. I can't really see the airport we're flying to. I know it's right ahead of us, though. 787? Where? Right uh, behind uh, blue. Yeah, can you can zoom your VFR map out, but it depends on how far... I think we should go left. It depends on how like long your, your, your flight plan is. If your flight plan is super long, if you're doing like an IFR flight in a 787 that's like 1,000 miles, you can't zoom the VFR map that far. I wish you could, though. I think it would be good to, be, to zoom it out all the way. Um, but it, it doesn't allow you to do that right now. So with our flight plan, which is only 100 miles, the full thing, with including all the stops, I can see my whole flight plan, my VFR map. David Bukachi, welcome back to history, man. Good to see you. Blue, I think we have to go to the valley to the right. Okay, oh, that sounds already, fun. You're already doing it. Did I? <laughs> yeah, just I'm already go here. straight. Okay, cool. I'm like, all right. I see, a, I see a deeper valley to my right. Yeah, the airport is like right behind a mountain, so you won't see it coming in. Yeah, we're not going to see it coming in. We're actually going to overfly it, and we're going to kind of loop back and land oh. land in. Yeah, it's only one way in and one way out of this airport. So we got to, it's kind of like, um, I'm trying to think of another airport like that. Look low. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not that small, but same concept. Yeah. I see you guys coming in now. Beautiful. You should see me circling it. I was oh, I, oh yeah, I see. It. Oh okay. I, I, yep, I got eyes. It's right here on my uh, ten o'clock. Yeah. This reminds me of St. Bart's. Yeah. It does. It's pretty cool exactly. airport. It's why I, I picked this. Like, this is a freaking dope airport. It's a lot of a lot of runway. You can land a TBM here. You could probably even land a Citation here. It has so much runway on it. If you come in the right yeah, speed. I want to. I want to see the Citation line. Um, it's, oh, not, no. it's not very you... wide though. A lot of trees on the side. If, if you wait for me, I'll land a 7 4. Oh boy. <laughs> Get airports one in here. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna loop around this uh, little hill uh, to uh, right up ahead of us. Come down by the water and come in low. Oh yeah, the water approach. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I'll do the water approach. Jay knows the way. Hello, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome back. Literally Costa Rica, St. Barnes. <laughs> I'm pulling G's for the citation. Yeah, Coastal Rica. Look at that yeah. lightning strike. Oh my god, this is crazy. Uh, like it excites me at the same time. I'm like, really? Really? Here? Right now? Lightning strike? Who just said they're pulling nine G's in a citation? Me. <laughs> oh boy. I was waiting to definitely you guys, fell off. So. Winds seem to be calm if you judge it by looking at the water waves. Not too windy. Blue, look at your six. I can't see my six. I don't have rearview uh, mirrors. There's no clue that you can actually do that with water <laughs> to judge your wind conditions. You really can. You can judge your wind direction and like strength of the wind just by looking at the water. So many ways. Or you can even look at the trees where they're swaying. You can't find any of that stuff. Blue, I'm gonna pull up right to your right. Alright, sounds good. I'm just making basically a, a pretty long loop turn here to the left. Yep, I All see right. you. Police escort. Uh, I lost you. I'm still, yeah, I'm, I'm still there. Uh, You're good. <laughs> Alright, we're speeds Quite coming down. My speed is down at 110 knots, going flaps 1, which is 20 degrees. There's a nose going up, pushing forward, losing speed, adding power. Power, power, lots of lightning. These mountains are probably going to shield us from those lightning strikes. Airport is right over there by those big buildings. You can't even see it from where I'm at. Like, if you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't be able to see it at all. Alright, 
Five, it also reminds me of the approach into uh, what's the name of the airport? Dang it, it's in Italy. No, not Italy. Oh, yeah, it's uh, in France. Lima, Echo, Mike. No, 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 not that one. Not that. One. Well, that one too a little uh, bit, but the other well. one. No, not quite. Uh, shoot, what's the name of the airport? Geneva. Is it no. nice? Not nice. Is it nice? No, not nice. I forget the name. Nice of it. is like. It's right next to Nice. It's right next right. to Nice. I landed there on infinite flight. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's an airport right next. It's like, I don't know, 50, 100 miles away from Nice to the east. It has an approach just like this. It's very cool. I flew there in EasyJet not long ago in an airplane. All right, guys, we're coming in. Let's see if I know still how to do this. <laughs> wait, wait, how do you fly this plane? <laughs> Rudder pros do what again? <laughs> Do the flaps slow you down, or I was kidding. The rudder pedals are gas pedals, right. actually. That'd be hilarious to tell somebody that. Yeah, just, just rudder pedals are just gas pedals. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, All right, God. Runway 3-1. Uh, yeah, gosh, plenty wait, of runway for these caravans, so don't, don't stress it out. Oh, there it is, we're down. We kind of balanced it, though. We're floating. And we're down again. All right. I'm not going to use reverses. My guess was 73 feet per minute for blue. Mine was oh, negative 331, apparently. That's, that can't be right. Oh, man. What was it? 331? Yeah, there's no way. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. CP watch Airfan, out. what up, man? Welcome to the stream. I'm actually going to get on the grass so you guys can land. Watch out, guys. I'm coming in right now. Who just land. came in at the speed of sound? Me. My a citation. <laughs> a citation. I'm actually to your left. Oh, that's you? Oh, yeah. I'm talking. Oh, it look says at that. 208. I thought there was a plane oh. behind you. <laughs> Thank you, Combat Koch, for the follow. Welcome to Blue Arrow family. It is still thunder and lightning out there. Alright, we made it safely, most of us. So, you know, it's not really that hard of an approach, to be honest with you. Like, it's pretty easy. Wait, what kind of livery is that? <laughs> Delta Connection Longitude? Yeah. The heck? Where? To your oh, left. Oh, it's the livery I'm using. <laughs> yeah, they have it. Delta Connection United. Yeah, I, I saw United that. Yeah. Let me, let, me, like, let me watch oh. some of these landings. This is going to be pretty entertaining. Just landed. Yep, I see you down there. There's a TBM, I think, coming in. No, it's not a TBM. Uh, yes, yeah, TBM. How do you tell your landing rate? I uh, use a Sim Toolkit Pro. And it, it tells you. Yep, so far everybody's made it. Nice little fly in. So, all right, so if you guys like this airport, you're going to love the next one. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not sure if the next airport is a premium deluxe airport. Um, so I don't know which versions you guys have. But it's, if you have premium deluxe, I know you have it for sure. I don't know if it's a default. I have no idea, honestly, what version. You're a station. I'm so dumb. I uh, I have Game Pass, but I still bought the Premium Deluxe because I didn't realize that there would be an upgrade. So I paid like a hundred bucks for something I could have got for like ten. Oh wow! All right, I want to just scam. I want to watch the citation take off. Go ahead and take off citation. I want to. It just that just looks sexy right. that plane. <laughs> I want to just watch you take off real quick before we leave. After you take off, we're all gonna leave. Catch up camera. <laughs> Plenty of runway for that citation. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> All right, citations clear the runway. All right, let's go back to What's our plane. What's that scraping noise? Oh, man, tail struck. All right, we got another so short hard. hop. You know, I still have the, the say tack yo. This will be our last uh, leg, official leg. After that, we'll just kind of we'll, we'll go play by ear. Pretty sure it's gonna get pretty crazy pretty quick. All right, oh, flaps okay. reset for takeoff, <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and get on the runway. Uh, Lord Felix, we're on a uh, multiplayer is set to well, mine is set to the USA East server. Yeah, the TVM had no wheels. I think when it's like too far, it doesn't render the real wheels. I will I, say coming in. Yeah, I need to, to land. fix that. 
They do. That taste is pretty cool. I am ready. That did not make sense. So, Alright, looks like you guys are ready too. Right, yeah, releasing the brakes. Mount Foofy, welcome back, bro. Good to see you. I love airports like these, though, where like both what sides are completely heck? covered with trees. I don't know, just, it kind of gives you more of a sense of speed when you have like big objects right next to their runway. Are any of you like rotating really early? Because my nose just went up at like Yeah, my, my nose went yeah, up almost instantly. But I'm I also I think my trees. trim was. Uh, I think my trim was pretty high. Uh, CP Air Fan, yes, I do from time to time do giveaways. I don't have any ready today, but giveaways are fun. Alright, weather should be a lot clearer on the way to the next stop. Hopefully. Chitty, Chitty Spang, I love that name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, yes, Alan, we're all talking on Discord. So if you want to hop in, listen, or talk, you can uh, just join Discord. Honestly, what made this, this flight so far like the most fun for me was flying through those clouds. That was the most fun part for me. I mean, because the scenery is nice out here. Like, it's, it's you know, it's, it's nice. It's not like... In this, in this particular area, it's not it's like freaking you know, mind blowing. Um, it's nice. It's a lot of green, a lot of trees, um, and some nice high mountains. But being able to avoid the the mountains and then fly through all these really nice looking clouds was really making this flight worth it. Might have been fun for you. <laughs> for me, it was fun. Yes. <laughs> uh, is life weather fixed? Um, not a hundred percent. No. Um, again, this last patch didn't even mention weather at all, so I assume whatever was fixed before is what was fixed, so it's it's kind of still where it was at. I don't think it has progressed anymore. Blue, do you use a honeycomb? I do. I kind of want to get one. I, I'm using the Logitech 3D Pro or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. I hate it. I hate it. I want to get one. I do. Is is that a, a joystick or a yoke that you have? Yeah, it's a joystick. Okay. Yeah, I, I recommend it, the honeycomb. Bec I, before, I was kind of like, eh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's kind of, maybe it's just hype, you know? I thought it was just the hype. Everybody just wanted the honeycomb because it was the hype. But for me, yeah. since I've had it, I've had my hand on, hands on it for over a month now, um, I really like it. The quality is so much better than I expected. Like, I know it's a little bit more expensive than some of the other yolks you can get but i would say like save your money instead of getting those cheaper yolks just save your money just a little bit longer and, and get the honeycomb and you won't regret it yeah i'm like i already saved up for it the issue is it is so hard to get i just don't know if i'm patient enough to be i honest. guess because they keep going out of stock yeah yeah it's because no, of like... microsoft fights and, the, and then star wars came out a week ago I don't have it, but apparently people like that game, <laughs> you know? And so even more people were buying up joysticks and, like, flight controls for that game. Probably not yokes, but they're buying, they're buying yeah, you know, but... flight sticks and stuff like that for um, for Star Wars. So, like, the prices are going up, too. So I would be careful on when you buy. Like, don't just buy it because it's available, because the prices, you know, especially on the Thrustmaster stuff, have all been boosted up because there's so little yeah. um, available now. And then people were basically buying them and then reselling them for like double the price. So it's... Well, on Amazon, the honeycombs were four hundred, but I'm not paying a dollar over two forty nine. There's yeah, no way. So I would I would try to go with whatever the original price is. I don't know the prices may come back down around Christmas, but I kind of doubt it because Christmas is such a you know a big money making time. Like why would you bring like if the demand is high, why would you drop the price? Yeah. They're gonna if they're gonna buy it. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm gonna look on Amazon. Yeah, I would just day. do research. Maybe there may be some people who are trying to get rid of their old ones. You know, some people, you know, life happens sometimes, and they can't. You know, they need to sell them. You never know. So I would also, you know, look around different Discord channels, the forums. There's always people trying to sell different types of stuff. You might get lucky. Yeah. Well, you heard the story about uh, my friend, right? He gave me the motion sim for free. Yeah, that's freaking crazy. 
Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> awesome. I still have not figured out how to set it up, though. Cause you and like, and even if you didn't, like, if that was too much for you, you could literally sell that off and then use that money to get you a, you know, a new setup or whatever. You know, I'm yeah, just saying, that's an I option. Think, uh, <laughs> might do that. Yeah, somebody in chat just said they donated. What did he say? He said he donated some sticks and whole tasses because the price is gouging. So Combat Cox said he's been donating to people, which is great, too. So you have great people like him out there donating stuff, too. Um, so, yeah, simple economics right there. I mean, it just makes sense. I mean, Microsoft really, really made a huge dent in the market. Like, I knew Microsoft was going to make a difference in the market whenever the game came out, but I didn't think it would be this dramatic. I didn't think it was going to be this crazy. It's crazy. I used to be like the biggest Infinite Flight fan. Like yeah. I was on like leaderboards for flight time. Oh, nice. And I would fly every night, like literally just long hauls. And like I would talk to the owner all the time, Laura. That's dope. And and then like this came out, and I'm not gonna lie, I just like completely switched. I mean, I hate to say it, but that kind of happened to me with X Plane. Um, not saying I'm never gonna go back, but. Like I, I have not flown X Plane since August 18th. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah. I mean, I've been tempted lately. I'm not gonna lie. I've been tempted lately to go back because of all the bugs going on Microsoft. I'm like, you know what? Let me just go back to this stable sim over here. <laughs> um, and I may do that. Honestly, I may still go back for a stream or two here and there um, to kind of get some X Plane, some airliner fun in. But yeah, it's been tough for me to go back because I, I, I go and I look at the screenshots or. You know, the X plane stuff. I'm like, man, but it's. I know it flies better, but it just doesn't look as nice. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, hold on, Zen Bender. He ordered a honeycomb alpha last month. It was supposed to ship Friday. No email with shipment info. So you sent one asking. They replied once yesterday saying it will go out October 21st. Four hours later, another email saying December 2nd. Jeez. Yeah, that's why I'm not buying one. That's <laughs> crazy, man. That is not good. Yeah, I saw a few yeah. other, uh, another a couple, a couple, a couple of streamers that I know, who ordered a couple of honeycomb stuff. It was not just the yoke, but like I think the flight controls and some of the other things they got coming out. The dates have been pushed back and pushed back, so I'm wondering what's delaying them so much. It's a lot of clouds over here. I'm trying to figure out how to get around them. It was so annoying. The day Microsoft Flight Simulator came out, like a bunch of big YouTubers got like a flight kit. Like I'm sure you saw a couple. Oh of them. yeah, yeah. And they yeah. got like the not just a couple, a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. and I'm like they're never going to touch those again after they do that review and it's yeah. just like, so, like so bad I think I think everybody kind of felt the same way there was there's a lot of people in my opinion who definitely deserve to get them a free you know wow that lighting just definitely struck my plane <laughs> uh, get a free honeycomb a free thrustmaster whatever you know but then there's those random people who are just big uh, gamers in general who are not really particularly you know going to fly Microsoft Flight Sim forever you know, they're gonna do a review of it. They're gonna check it out for a month or so, and then that, that you know that yoke is never gonna get touched. That throttle never gonna get touched. And I think those are the people that really, really bothered people that they got it for free, because like you know you could have you know they could have either gave that to me, not me you know particularly, but I'm just talking about in general as a person. <laughs> you could have gave it to another person or sold it to another person who actually use it. Um, but I get it. It's 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 all in marketing. Um, it's a cost. Wow, that lightning is really getting close to this plane. Um, so yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> I mean, as their decision, flare pilot. I'm burning the engine up. Yeah, I am, man. I'm burning this thing up bad. Ray's in 24. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Uh, oh, no, Combat Cox says he can't go back to X-Men because he has he's been spoiled by Microsoft graphics. Yeah, I agree with you, man. Uh, they're so popular. I don't know how you can be mad. Yeah, I mean, they get all kind of free stuff for free. They do. Uh, what were you saying? Uh, my DA62 caught fire the other day. Like in the sim? <laughs> in the sim. What? Planes like, catch fire? Well, yeah, you have failures on, I bet, right? Bro, I think yeah, I spawned I in on too. another plane or whatever. The engine quit. It was smoking, fire. I was like, whoa. Like actual fire, seen. like flames. Like actual fire. I need flames. to test this out. <laughs> I'm like, I, I was shocked, man. I need to test this out. And that's in the DA40? Uh, the 62. The 62. All right, 62. Put that in my in my mental notes to try to burn up the 62 because I've never <laughs> seen a plane catch fire in this sim before in my life. Yeah, I'll, put, the I'll put the screenshots in the... You got a photo section, right? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll draw the screenshots. Yeah, I want to check oh, that out. Oh, I need to. I need to post some photos from the Africa bush flight. Yeah, for sure. Where'd you guys disappear to? Uh, we disappeared to. I don't know. I went a bit higher because I was about to fly into some higher far conditions. Uh, I think I'm about to die. I think we're pretty close. How far are we? We are. Yeah, we're pretty down. close. Uh, I'm yeah. freaking six miles away. I should be able to see it from here, but there's clouds blocking it. So I'm gonna descend. I'm gonna dive down this here. This is gonna be hard landing in this foggy area because it's just a little indent in the forest. Yeah, it's me how hard so. to find this airport. And it's a grass strip too. We'll go for life. What up, man? Welcome to the stream. Matthew Carrillo, welcome back, man. Good to see. You. Uh, what is the new patch? Uh, well, the new patch has nothing to do with Costa Rica. We just we just happened to already be planning to be in Costa Rica, and the patch happened. Hands, thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome to the Blu-ray family. Um, the new patch, uh, I would just recommend going. Well, I don't even know if it's on the website yet. Have they updated the website to say what the patch is? I don't think they have. I think I just found the airport. Is that it right there? No, I think oh, it's uh, farther north. Bro, I am freaking. I don't know what you got me into, man. <laughs> I can't see nothing. You can't see nothing? Oh my god. I can't see nothing. Same here. Yeah, I've been getting I'm mixed. I'm like 15,000 feet. I can't see jack. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what y'all's live weather say. My live weather has been, I don't know, it's been a mixed area. They got some storm, got some partly cloudy, got some, you know, I don't know. Uh oh, it is it is a bit uh it's a bit hazy out here by the airport. Oh, very yeah. cool. lots of lightning. Um, yeah, the patch notes for the latest updates is actually look way, way shorter than I expected. Unless they didn't finish like writing it, but it's way shorter than I expected when I was updating the game. Uh, significant stuff like aerodynamic, the oscillation of pitch has been adjusted. Um, the VFR map should no longer crash or sim. They fixed the ghost cockpits where the all the lights and stuff would go off in the cockpit. I think that's really it. Like that's really like the main points. I felt like I don't know if you guys got anything else. But that's the main thing I, I, I saw. Nothing major, but it is a patch. Patches are not always major. Yes, yeah, so Zen Vendors yeah, really. got three different shipment updates. That's that's frustrating, honestly, too. As a as a consumer, when you pay for something, <laughs> like I mean, it's hard enough knowing you're gonna get it like you know two weeks away, even a week. If I buy something from Amazon and it's gonna take a week, I'm like, I should have this in two days. That's why I have Prime. That's what my, that's my mindset. Like, and so if, if I gotta wait a week, I'm like, okay, okay, that's fine. I'll wait a week. I'll, I'll go ahead and put my I'll go ahead and change my mindset to work for that week. And if you tell me. You know, halfway through that week, that it's gonna be another week or two weeks or a month or December. I'm like, oh, bro, give my money back. Let me spend it on something else, and then I'll come and buy that in December <laughs> when you're ready to send it to me. All right, I'm like right here. Is that it? That's yeah, it. it's too. Holy right. crap, that's freaking it. Okay, I found it. Yeah, this is gonna Wait, be tricky to beach find. Beach patch? It's on the. It's like on the beach. Like it comes off the beach. Like a tiny little patch there. I'm gonna turn around. You're gonna land like titation there. Are like. you kidding me? <laughs> what a pilot raid. Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome back. Holy crap. Blue, I, I don't know if I'm that skilled. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll see. I mean, there's trees. So uh, the trees might slow you down. Alright, Blue, you should land first and watch everybody. Yeah, you guys should land. You Done. should land first. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll definitely definitely. You guys, please wait in the hole so I can see all of it. I wanna see this, yes. For sure. Yeah, we'll circle. Up to you, man, cause it's gonna be funny. I, don't know, I mean, we'll see. even on my screen, it's, it's pretty darn gray out here. I mean, I can oh, barely. Oh, starting to clear up. Oh, for me, I don't it just know got how worse. You're getting clear weather, man. This mine's foggy and yeah. lightning and. <laughs> I need to get rid of some speed. All right, there's like a little like dirt patch there to kind of say, hey, this is where the airport's at. Okay, now I'm getting some rain on the windshield. Jesus, that lightning. I'm at 400 feet. Like a water final. Is it here or is it over there? I think it's in there. I'm on left downwind, if anyone. I'm on left down. I'm on left base, I think. Yeah, I'm okay. on left base. I'm Let me know when you're on short final and I'll turn base. No problem. I Everyone think that little engine is it. 
really think is that little intention. This reminds me of uh, that Alaskan airport. Yeah, if you see the beach, then it's right after it. It should, it's like a strip right after the beach. Patch. I'll say again, if you have the, the the scenery, which is again, it's it's the handcrafted scenery. I don't know, I'm not sure what version it comes with, but if you have it, when you get there, you can see how freaking beautiful this airport is. I love it. Oh my god, that lightning! Holy crap, it's so bright. All right, I'm on a short final. Okay, I'm turning base. There's also a little uh, dip there at the end of the runway too, so watch out for that. Don't come in too short. All right, and about the land, idle. And we're down. Move. First thrust. And I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna taxi over. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, watch out for the soccer. The soccer goal at the end of the runway. FYI, the whole runway is not a whole runway. Just at the very end, there's a, a soccer goal and a volleyball freaking net thingy. Golasso. Go around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm gonna turn around and watch the rest of you guys land in the rain. I am complete IFR. Oh boy. All IFR right. is foggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta see this. All right, let's I see what we got. Aim for the goal. I'm gonna put the camera right in the goal. I ain't seen anything. <laughs> okay, I'm coming in right behind Alexander. Bienvenido, no, Parque Nacional. No, no, no. Carvacado. Your wake tournament's gonna be horrible, okay? Is that, is that even a thing in Microsoft Flight Simulator? I'm playing at King Air. It's, you really want to, like, your weight turbulence is going to be horrible. Thank you, XP. I, <laughs> is that a thing? I don't think weight turbulence is a thing. I, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, can, wait, well, man, I, I can't tell if you're kidding. I wish it was. I wish that could be a problem we had. We could concern ourselves with, but it I don't believe it, it is. I think Lou, do you see how close I get to you in the middle of our flights? I think I would have died. <laughs> I mean, Caravan has weight, but I mean... I think if you're another caravan, it won't be that bad. All right. Are you guys coming in from the water or from the? Yeah, that's from a good the question. Water. Water. Good. Yeah, make sure you guys come in from the water side. Wait, I'm confused. I'm so a couple, right a couple now. notes. Oh my a couple trim. notes for you guys landing. Yeah, There's a uh, a cliff at the end of the runway, onto the beach. So watch out for that. And then about I don't know, 80% down the runway, there is also a, a dip that may tear off your front wheel. And then after that dip. There is a, a soccer goal, so yeah, watch out for those things. I'm going around. I can't. So try to land. Uh, I'm on short. final. All right, I see. You're clear. Runway is clear. Crash. All right, I'm third in the line. I'm right behind whoever's on final. Oh boy. Oh my God. He smashed that wheel in down there. I'm Whoever right. That there was. Right. Yeah, right. What What is wrong with the trim on this plane? Everything is wrong with the trim. Oh, oh, oh nope, not yet, not again. yet. Come on, please. Final. Big bounce, holy oh. crap. Bunny hopping oh. down the runway. Go around. I'm still in the Don't air. Hit the I'm trees. still in the air. <laughs> Go around. All right, the it's my trim. It's my trim. Oh, my God. All right, TVM I'm inbound. Clear the runway, TVM inbound. I'm pushing down. <laughs> Blue, on your screen, there's like a different, like, different from what I saw. On my screen, I buttered. All right, TVM, nice, nice smooth landing in the TVM. On my screen, I buttered. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna land this. Let's do this. All right, next TVM coming I... in. No gear, check gear. <laughs> did I bounce over the volleyball net? You probably did. I'm pretty sure you <laughs> definitely hopped over that bump, that volleyball net. I want to give that another shot. All right, boy, whoever landed. It's my in. I right, see right now. King Air is on the way in. You got plenty of runway, bro. You're a little high. A little high. I am a little high. Look, look pretty fast, too. Look really fast, actually. Holy crap, you're coming in fast. Bam. Go around, go around, go <laughs> around. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, somebody asked in chat, how do I move my camera around so smoothly? I'm using my PlayStation 4 controller to control my drone prone movements with the little uh, analog sticks. So that's how I do it. Uh, do I use FSUIPC to calibrate my yoke? No, I did not know that was a thing. 
That caravan's land. Sounds like somebody's taking off. Good, good, good. Clean the runways. Get it, uh, go in the reverse. He's going fast, right. though. He's going fast. He's good. All right, nice. I think we've uh, we've uh, we got most of you. <laughs> this reminds me of carrier landings. Like watch people come in and do carrier landings. Except there's a bit right. higher. Uh, Chevy's on final. Higher success rate. Like this storm's on its way out. The rain has stopped at the airport for me. Hey, right, let's try this again. Oh, actually, it's still sprinkling. All right, where are you at? Left base or left downwind? I'm close. I'm on left base. No, no, right down. Left downwind. Uh, Nicholas Flitz, how's the sim now since the new patch? I haven't had any crashes. That's the first positive. Uh, after our last patch with Japan update, I had many, many crashes on our first flight. So, thankfully, we haven't had any crashes. But we haven't flown an airliner either, so that could, you know, you never know. But again, the the notes just didn't really mention anything really specific to airliners. Um, yeah, just went really, yeah, they're very small. Not very many things I've updated. But hopefully it is more stable. We'll have to see. We got JD Bear coming in. JD Bear is on the way. Yep, I see. And then him. I'm and I'm behind him. Blue, I might take off and do another. Uh, yeah, do it. It's, this is a fun uh, airport to land at. Uh, we're on USA East server, Quiver Three. And yes, it is free to join these adventures. I would. How can I dare charge somebody to do this? Look nice, this you made trip. it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, nice. Alright, somebody else said that they're coming in. Alright, let's do this. Somebody taking off or landing? What's going on? King Air coming in. Oh, King Air is coming in. I hear him. Okay, there he is. Alright, make sure you watch your speed. Your gear looks good. I think you broke your right side gear on my screen. It's like you have a, uh, a halfway retracted right gear. <laughs> Hopefully, it's only on my screen. Looks better. Oh, that thing sounds oh. amazing. Break, 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 break. Reverse, reverse. Reverse, 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 reverse. Oh, okay, no. a police caravan. Oh, oh super unlegit. It's not <laughs> trim, dude. It just, I went all the way nose down. Oh, my God. Let's, let's go. <laughs> I'll say we do it again. Let's do it again. We got. I got time. I got time to do it one more time. That was fun. Matter of fact, I'm actually gonna switch to a, curve, to a King Air. I want to try this in the King Air. <laughs> oh, I I love the U.S. Force Fire Liberty. I'll switch it to the King Air. I'll be back. You guys can go ahead and take out and switch to the King Air. I don't have develop, developer mode on, so I'm gonna have to actually go to the main menu and do it. But in the meantime, it's like a, music. It's like a general and rush right there, coming into the King Air. The King Air just looked like fun to land. Like it looked like it's probably like the harder of the turboprops to land here. Yes, Suprit, I do have a Discord channel. Type in exclamation mark Discord. And boom, there it is. Exclamation mark what? <laughs> I know, I was like, I'm just, just gonna pass over. Like, y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I heard it when I said it, and I was like, is that, is that what it sounded like? <laughs> exclamation mark Discord <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> You type anything else, Nightbot will block it. <laughs> um, all right, same settings again. If you guys are just joining in the stream today, except, 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 we are on the USA East server. All players, um, again, please don't bring anything bigger than a turbo prop. If you do bring us a, a longitude, that, that's uh, sure, sure, go for it. But no 747s. No A320s, please. Oh, you said. Wait, does the CJ4? Uh, reverse thrusters. Okay. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, Roy 2 1. I mean, if you're gonna bring it to that stream, I recommend the CJ4 if you have it. I'm gonna do that nature true. air. Oh, wait, I'm in the car I'm in the king air. I forgot. Liver why is it on the caravan? I want king air liberty. Oh, you're with a glitch where it's like it thinks you're still on caravan. You just have to press. Go back to like aircraft selection and then yeah it did down. that's weird all right well cool i'd have been upset if i had waited that low oh it still did it weird what 
You know what I'm waiting for to come to the Microsoft market is San Diego. Ooh. I want San Diego, but it's not. I don't want to buy it from their website. I'm sorry, Latin, whoever you, whatever the name, their name is. I don't want to buy it from you directly. I just, I don't know you like that yet. I want to buy, I bought their other scenery, the Miami one, which is actually really good. I bought that one from the marketplace. So I want to get this one from the marketplace. All right, what livery do I want? I kind of like the red one. It's kind of cool. We'll go with that. I will say you could take off in the 320 here if you wanted. You could. That is true. Just back up to the goal. And then... Possible. Let's do a, uh, you know, a goal shot. Penalty shot. Correct. What's the, what's the uh, airport code? MRSN. Micro Romeo Sierra November. Uh, I don't have your livery installed 360. I'm waiting for you to, to get it updated. <laughs> it looks so nice when you have it on. I used to have it on. It just looks so I do. Nice. It does look so nice. Yeah, we haven't updated any of our liveries since they changed the way you like install liveries. Like now that you can just throw them in there single by themselves. We haven't updated it since then. So. Uh, Kibbs2005 says we're setting records for go-arounds at this airport. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Probably. One of the thing, one of my favorite things about this airport too is the fact that I feel like nobody knows about it. Like no one. Like have you ever heard of it? Probably not. I didn't know about it until I think uh somebody mentioned well, I didn't hear about it until I just came out here. I am ready. Oh. There you are. Store key. Alright, I'm here. Alright, so takeoff should be easy, right? Right? That should be easy. Let's yeah, see. probably just like one not to flap. Yeah, one not to flap. So we get the heck out of here. So I assume what happens here. My flaps. All right, flaps. All right, I'm gonna join you over there. I am about to take off. <clears throat> I haven't flown with King Air in like three updates. Did they change the interior? Wait, that's part of the uh, the livery. Oh, that's sweet. Looks nice. Looks all classy now. All right, park brake released. I'm rolling. Man, it's grass. The traction on this grass. Are my brakes on? No, they're not on. Okay. <laughs> so you might want to watch this. Watch what? Oh, no. Bottle, not the bottle. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, it's Wait, are you guys to catching take the takeoff? Off or you I'm trying take to take off. Okay. I don't think you guys going to make it. I'm still in the red. Oh, I'm still in the red, go. too. <laughs> pull up. Oh. Pull up. <laughs> we probably should have took off with full flaps. This thing is super slow getting moving. Jeez. All right, now I can go gear up now that I'm safe. I'm gonna leave those flaps down, and uh, I gotta find a way back to the airport now. Uh, what are you guys doing? Left traffic here? Uh, yeah, left traffic today. I don't so feel too high because uh, I can't see Jack. Whoever was flying the longitude, nice. Yeah, did land. anyone just witness that? Head on collision? Oh boy. It, oh, the landing. Oh no, do it again. No, it's not supposed to be this slow, right? Like, like realistically, I don't think it's supposed to be this slow taking off. Because King Airs are known for a short takeoff and landing for their size. So it should honestly be get, like really quick to go. Especially it has turbos in it. So, I mean, it's supposed to be... Darn good. So I think there's a problem with how they do the engine because the same thing with the DA62. <clears throat> no, I will say back to the next plane. If you do a full power takeoff in DA62, both engines will catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what happened to me. So I mean, you never want to like go full power like Toga <clears throat> on 62s. King Air is technically yeah. the same. Honestly, most planes, most turboprops are the same. You don't usually go just full high. throttle. I mean, think about the TBM. Like, you don't want to go full throttle on that thing. Yeah, you don't. But is there something when it goes well, when you're on grass or dirt? Makes it harder. It, yeah. It, the, yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn around for a short. Fun. I actually went. I said left traffic and I went right. So, <laughs> um, I'm turning back around. The citation. Gears coming down. Man, that lightning is just nuts. I am too far. I'm gonna, uh, uh. Yeah, that was a nice takeoff on the CJ4. 
like the, in the King area view is so like you can't see nothing. All right, I'm gonna land at, at around 150 in the King area. Bad idea. All right, looking, looking, looking for the airport. All right, I got it in sight. I see somebody landing. We got a rescue, a rescue airplane coming in. We got a rescue airplane coming. We probably need it. Oh, U.S. Fire Service plane. <laughs> I was a fire in the forest. I was flying around San, uh, San Francisco yesterday. Oh, nice. They needed the forest fire. All right, here I come. Short final. Uh, left base to left. Left base is short final. I don't know if I'm gonna make that turn. Yeah, yeah, I got a turn. Or right above stall. Right freaking above stall. I see you. Oh yeah. It's night. You oh, got yeah, it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh oh, no we're not. No we're not. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Stopping. Oh, we'll be good. I got. First. Yeah, we're good. We're good. When you stop, uh, take a look at me. I'm in a citation. Nice. Actually, I like landing here in the King Air. I like landing in general in the King Air. I like King Airs. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. The weather isn't much different from when we planned this flight the other week. Uh, it's better, actually. When we planned this flight really? the other week, the weather was worse on mine. I remember, mine. remember Raven's ghost plane? Yes. That was, that was weird. It's a nice a livery. It was just disappearing. It, it didn't exist and then it existed. That was so weird. I got about 17 point? feet per minute landing just now. Holy crap. Nice. Uh, hold on, let me turn the thing. U.S. Forest Service. Nice. We have come spectate. Alright, who's landing? We're taking off. Uh, we have a one two yeah, landing, and then we have a K-Air coming in, too, after. Alright, I'm gonna do a right side of the runway view this time. <clears throat> Gotta splash as his, run his uh, game keeps crashing. Oh, no bueno. Right, dude, I do see a longitude. You're coming very in. low. STOL. Oh, oh boy. Oh, he's he's, oh, he's oh, yellow. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh my god! Oh god. Oh god. Go around, go around. I think it's too late to go around. He's already going around. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. What just happened? He survived. <laughs> No, you did not survive. That is not what survival yeah. looks like. Nope. <laughs> what a lucky man. Request taxi parking. Uh, All right. Straight ahead, make a right to medical. All right, I'm coming in. <laughs> One sixty knots. Oh my god. All right, King Air's coming in hot. Check gear. That is bad. Oh, he's gonna do the same thing. Dead. <laughs> no gears have survived. Oh my god. We're going for life says what? <laughs> oh, Alright, we got another caravan. Oh, X Cup coming in. Oh, you got plenty of room. No excuses for this S Cup. There it is. Yo, that wasn't a uh that wasn't a nice. crash. That was just like a trick landing. Oh, okay, I see, I see. <laughs> There's some spoiler from that on the K air, so it's like hard for it to slow down. Yeah, it is a little bit the King Air is a little slippery. I'll say, um, uh, fixing things for you is asking how did he not go to black screen? You can turn that off. You turn off crashes um, in the settings. Um, whenever you crash or over G or stuff like that, it, it won't actually kick you out of the game, which I recommend everyone do in general. It doesn't matter if you want to simulate crashes or not. Like, just turn it off because it's annoying. And it happens in the worst times. All right. I'm going to quickly show everybody this airport before we leave, but this was a lot of fun. And, uh,. That longitude looks like a lot of fun to land here, honestly. I'm not great at landing that plane on asphalt. <laughs> so I don't know. Drug runs, anybody? What'd you say? <laughs> Drug runs with a citation. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Like, screw it. Why the heck not? I'm freaking switched to a citation. Yeah. La this is my last landing for the day. Citation. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm actually going to switch to developer mode, too, so I don't have to leave. Oh, I do the CJ4. I think that would be better. Why would, citation why would, just has so much suppression. You're saying the CJ4 would uh, be harder than the citation? Uh, I'm trying the citation. Trying Should to... I go in the fed plane to make it more realistic? Which one? The police plane. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> we're, all, we're all probably breaking all right. some laws here. I'm crashing this. We're all probably breaking some laws here. Okay, somebody just disappeared in the trees. <clears throat> 
Alright, windows. Uh, aircraft selector. Cessna CJ4. Switching aircraft. CJ4 is not the longitude, right? I'm just, just, just confirming. No, no, no. no. There's, it's oh, there it is. I see it now. United Express, heck no. Uh, I don't know which one. Let's do white, black, and go. That sounds like fun. Load. Hopefully I don't crash. Okay, all you guys definitely disappeared. What plugin is what? Uh, this is built in. This is developer mode. It's one of the developer tools. When you turn on developer mode, you can actually switch planes and do all that kind of stuff. Pretty con cool. Running find the main menu and then. Pretty convenient. Rather than going yeah to the main menu and then reset your whole flight, you just do it real quick. Hi, I'm in the CJ. Do I am uh, I in the CJ for you guys too, or is it only for me? I'm just kind of curious. Uh, you are in the longitude. Actually, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> longitude. This is a nice so looking one too. I like this flavor. Uh, it is a citation, uh, though. Uh, it technically is a citation. It's a CJ4. Is that United? Yeah, that's uh, me. And United. I crashed into a building. That's just, I, I can't look at that seriously. It's a United Express CJ4. Well, I mean, Delta it. has longitude, and they're like private airline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get out of the, off the ground. Oh, this is a party. Yeah, man, it's a party happening over here. Hey, once I land again, I'll show you guys the airport. Quick look around, a little, uh, little uh -oh. other area. <clears throat> Alright, I'm ready behind this King Air. I actually want to see this take off. Boo, you might need to stop right there because you need a lot of <laughs> runway. Do I need more runway than this? You probably need a lot I more runway. I want to do full flaps for this takeoff. It is isn't a task well where we can go 0 to 60 in like 2 seconds. But All that right. King Air is what's gonna. <laughs> The king air is the one that needs the space. <laughs> is he stuck? Looks like his nose. Oh my god. Who needs space? Alright, United Express 001, ready for, ready for take off. What up, Legend 9? What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for that. There's actually a little oh, bump. There's a, there's a bump in the, in the grass here. I think that's what he was oh. stuck in. Alright, guys. Toga. 8A, what up, man? Very nice airport. Yes, it is. Very nice. I'm for the. Isn't it like full flap takeoff? <laughs> yes, full flap takeoff right now. Ah, the CJ4 is just very fast right now. Oh, this CJ4 is going to be. It's going to be no problem right here. This is easy. This is easy. We're already at 110 knots before the end of the run. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let it drop off, too. I'm not even going to freaking pull up. Oh, my God. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. I couldn't see what actually happened, but it looked like yeah, it happened. It just, just, just fell off. <laughs> just fell off the cliff. Alright, climbing. Oh. I'm gonna go straight ahead and make a turn back. Procedure turn. Make a loopy loop. A loopy loop and turn. Oh, let's go. I'm going up. Gotta think like Narco when taking off of these short glass, glass strips? Grass strips? <laughs> I'm actually doing a loopy loop. That's citation. My biggest concern is losing the airport through all these clouds and thunderstorms and crap we got going on out here. You could actually do a loop de loop. Wow. Pretty cool. Did uh -oh. you actually do a loop de loop? Like an actual yeah, loop? Yeah, I actually did. Okay, now oh, I'm trying. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Now I gotta try and a loop de loop. I, and I saved. And saved. Alright, guys. I'm being very unrealistic right now. Don't try this at home. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's like Steam Edition 2004. <laughs> Steam Edition 2004, oh my god. Oh, he's doing it! Wow, I just did a whole freaking loop de loop. Now, good luck losing the speed I just gained. <laughs> Round by the game by descending. Do I have speed breaks about in this 500 thing? knots. Sink great, right, pull up. Alright, yeah, this is, this is not happening. This, no, uh uh. Uh, this is not happening. There's Blue no mode. way I'm getting slowed down. Slow. Slow mode. Slow mode. Slow mode. <laughs> Somebody die in the water? You. I didn't die. I'm alive. Oh, you saved that? Yeah. Alright. I was just Full too fast. Spoilers. 
Full flaps. Okay, let's try and not mess this up like I did last time. I'm just time. making a bit of a, a 360 to lose some airspeed. Trying to do this in one try. <clears throat> they just released uh, a new uh, iPhone. Huh. It, it is? Is it the iPhone 14? Yeah. What is it? What is it called? 12. How close was the freaking water? Holy crap. Where is the airport? Right. No, it's right here. Climbing up. Are my airbrakes on? In front of me. I like how the flight plan stays. Oh, they are. They do actually oh, work. Up loud. I don't think I. Okay, they're, they're gone. There it is. You love how what? Um, when you switch aircraft with the developer mode, your flight plan stays. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. All right, looking for the airport. I see the airport. Okay. Heading. Here's calm down. down. Thirty. Calm still. Here down. Bro, this thing loses speed fast. Holy crap. You're saying swim mode until I get slow enough. <clears throat> Any idea like, like how like fast I should be approaching in this plane? 140, 140, 140 then maybe drop down quickly. 140? Okay, gotcha. I'm at 135. This is not a stabilized approach. Man, you are right. <laughs> Alright, whatever you do, don't hit that cliff like the other guy. <laughs> Whoa. Doing you know, somersaults and stuff. Psych. Don't, don't talk about me like that. <laughs> That's gonna oh, be a over there performing gym gym stuff. It. I just watched an X Cup go inverted. <laughs> Steam. I really hope this is the runway because I. Don't so have you are very option. low. I'm Am telling I low? you from experience. I'm telling you from experience. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a butter right now. I'm just holding so this at 135. Oh. Right so you're 10 feet above the water. Ah. It says 60. Landing. Oh boy, we are very Easy. low. <laughs> oh, I just landed. Okay. Easy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, How am I going to stop? That is my reverse. question. How the heck am I go gonna... around, go around. Full reverse. Full reverse, buddy. <laughs> I think I'm making it. I think uh, we're good. I think off. we're going to make it, boys. Oh. Heck Holy. yeah. On the <laughs> soccer field. Nice. On the first try. Holy crap, that was crazy. I, I can't move, so I'm just gonna use Slu to move me around real quick. <laughs> Get me out of the way. Nope, wrong way. Oh, too far. Alright, I'm trying this again. Nice. That actually It is actually a lot of fun landing this plane in the CJ, uh, the Citation Longitude uh, here. Like, you really don't think you're gonna make it. It did not look like I was gonna make it. Yeah, I thought you were gonna run right into me. <laughs> but it's, it's, it stops so fast, bro. Like, once I touch down, because yeah. I, I, I touched down like halfway down a freaking crash trip. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Runway incursion! <laughs> and he landed in the trees. We're gonna need a, a new funeral home out here. And while he's going out there, bienven Bienvenido, <laughs> Estacion Bi Biologica Serena. This is a biological area of Serena. Like a national park out here in Corvocado. But again, this is a, one of the handcrafted airports that came with. Again, I don't know what version of the game it is because I have premium, but very well done airport. I assume Gaia made it because it seems like they've made most of the stuff. But it oh could have been Orbix too because Orbix so made close. a bunch of them as well. What do you say? That, that, that is so close. Like, yo. I mean, everything is freaking miles. It says, take your shoes off, please. No smoking. We already got uh, guys out here smoking the runway up, so that's already good. Sure. Little tent here. This is the medical area that um, my citation friend over here is going to be in. <laughs> and he, and he oh my god. Killed. Yeah, you know, he, may, he might make it. I'm not sure if we'll see him next stream. This is so cool. Yeah, we're just walking around, you know. It's raining. I'm, I'm, I'm warm. I'm warm and, and dry over here. Gonna order me a, a, I don't know if they eat chips and queso in, in Costa Rica, but I would like to have some. Blue, you're bullying me. <laughs> <laughs> but this would be such a cool place to honestly like go to. Like this is one of those places I would love to go to as a pilot in real life. Or even as a tourist. You can sit here, watch planes take off and land while you eat. Alright, second landing coming in. 
Uh oh, we got somebody ready. I just go watch. I highly doubt I'll see a citation landing here in real life, but. This is real life. <laughs> you darn right. It's actually better than real life. It is. It actually really is. Well, I don't know. In some ways. All right, let's see if we get stopped in time, though. Uh, he coming in fast. He might, he might stop. I don't know. I don't no. know. I don't think. Oh, he no. disappeared. Yep, in the tree. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Oh man, drone camera caught it all. <laughs> man, fun stuff, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming through and flying with us, having a good time, man. It's always fun doing these bush flights, and you know we do like something like this, kind of like legit, and then we make it very legit at the end. That's usually what happens in these bush flight stuff like you know how about we try landing this here but uh it was fun uh let's see i should be back yeah i'll be back tomorrow uh where we're we gonna fly i have not uh, uh oh <laughs> i have not uh released yet but I'm back here same yeah, time it's time and um okay i see a seven four. Oh boy is it that time it is, is, time. is it that time air force one baby air yeah, force one the president wanted to come join us okay Oh, that's not a 747. Where's the 747? I'm stuck in a building right now. Let me move up. Oh, you're not seeing it? I see a caravan landing. I see an X Cub taking off. I see a King Air taking off. Wait, I hear it. I'm near the soccer club. Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> hey, stream. <laughs> oh, the flaps were going. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I. I usually don't <laughs> condone this type of behavior, but I do want to see if you can land this here. Land it? Land. <laughs> <laughs> I have to see. Like, I have to. Like, I think everybody who's watching right now wants to know, okay, what's going to happen next? Because I want to know. Right. I don't want to leave. I want to see what's going to happen next. Full speed. Let's go. All right. All right. He's taking off. Hit it. Your engine is not on, but, you know, on my screen. 30 knots. Air Force uh -oh. Proud. Yeah, he's not making it. Oh. The four engines is not kicking. That full for us. Watch his nose dive. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's rotating. Oh. Tail strike. Oh, oh and he turned into a dart. Now it's a dolphin, Ooh. Air Force dolphin. <laughs> yeah, he. I mean, once you get in the water, it's pretty much over. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pretty much oh. over. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck in the water. Yeah, he's stuck. He's, he's beached. All right, we need some uh, safety services and whatnot to go out there and help him out. For the rest of you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, man, it was fun. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll probably do some IFR or something like that and test out the IFR capabilities of this update and see if it's changed anything. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. Flying, the weather's definitely put a little bit of a, a curve on today's stream and flight, and uh, that was kind of dope. But uh, as always, guys, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.